Sony's got more than luck in the enduring console wars these days. Today, we'll take a look back at their best, biggest, and brightest stars. Here are the PlayStation 4's top 10 AAA games of all time, arranged by PlayScore. The PlayScore is an average of gamer and critic ratings. At number 10 is Marvel Spider-Man. From an old, quiet classic to the youthful exuberance of an all-new Spider-Man title, the friendly neighborhood superhero has been a favorite of many for years. This PS4 exclusive from Marvel offers all of us a worthy haven for web-slinging and lightning-fast banter. Yes, there have been plenty of Spider-Man titles before, but the life and dynamism of this game's Peter Porker is something we've never seen before. Game Informer and Thumbsticks agree that like Batman Arkham Asylum, it raised the bar for the superhero genre. By getting into the details of what makes the superhero, it actually makes you feel like you are Spider-Man, swinging around and fighting baddies in the open world of New York City. Some, like PS Lifestyle, may admit that it's not technically groundbreaking, it does the job of fulfilling the fantasy. It has the humanity of Peter Parker, the combat of Spider-Man, and the liberating New York, all combined for a play score of a 9.21. At 9th place is Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. Being one of the last games from Kojima, one could say that there is a lot of sentiment and nostalgia that comes packaged with this final entry. But to say so wouldn't give justice to the various innovations that Kojima heartily came along with it. For one, its exploration of the open world has expanded the scope of the series in ways no one expected. On top of the improved stealth and combat mechanics, there's also base building and the unexpected but welcome Kiefer Sutherland appearance. And Game Trailer says, despite the huge scope, Hollywood talent, and technical flashiness, there's still a subtlety to Phantom Pain that truly captured our hearts. While Metal Gear has built its own reputation through the years, Phantom Pain, according to Attack of the Fanboy, deviates a little from the beaten path but ultimately stands at the height of the series. Packed to the brim of flash and heart, it is a truly magnificent end to a beloved series, and it has a play score of a 9.25. Moving on to number 8 is Resident Evil 2. An iconic Resident Evil entry crawls its way back to life. Capcom revives their 1998 classic for the modern console, bringing us back into the shoes of Claire and Leon with a whole new perspective. Gone are the days of their blocky polygons, this time they're polished up from head to toe and they're taking a new look at their old missions. Unlike other remakes though, Capcom goes the extra mile by adding a slew of additions to freshen up our beloved title. This is what Dual Shockers also has to say. With over 20 years since the original, RE2 doesn't just get modern graphics, it comes with new gameplay and additions to the storyline that take it away from the series' usual campiness. Although it is the same story, the characters seem much more real. The second scenario may raise doubts though, integral to experiencing the whole game for some and lacking any meaningful connections for some. Other than that, it is an essential experience in the Resident Evil franchise with a play score of a 9.28. One's for monsters, the other for humans. Coming in at number 7 is The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. When it first released in 2015, CD Projekt Red wowed the world with its third and final installment to their medieval fantasy RPG. Although it's not the next-gen title it used to be now, Witcher 3, for many gamers and critics, still has the X factor it had four years ago. GameSpot's Kevin Von Ord gave it a 10 out of 10. For him, as much as it was the best role-playing game that set the bar for the games to come, what made the experience worth it was the inspiring moments in between, drinking with clans and basking in a Trollbert song.
Most of the critics' review may be outdated now, Witcher 3 continues to be showered with praise from gamers to this day. One thing to thank for are their massive expansions that added more than 30 hours of content to this already rich vanilla game. High in the list for the best series send-offs, it has a play score of a 9.29. Just one long mystery. Sixth place goes to Grand Theft Auto V. One of the oldest games on our list, it's clear that Rockstar really knows how to keep their titles fresh in our hearts. Released in 2014, Grand Theft Auto V exploded into the scene with a trademark open worldness that they've come to be known for. With three characters offering their own perspective in the crime filled Los Santos, Rockstar gave us a world of bullets explosions, and all-around shenanigans. It's one of the games that went through the shift from last gen to new gen, and this is reflected in most of the reviews of the game. For PS Lifestyle, it made him appreciate the experience all the more, especially with the new content that came along with it. Push Square offers the same sentiments, commenting on this particular next-gen flight, Los Santos feels more alive than ever. Five years after, and Grand Theft Auto V maintains the excitement with new updates and a continually fun sandbox world for all kinds of hijinks. It has a play score of a 9.31. After all we've been through. We're counting number 5 with The Last of Us Remastered. This may just be a remaster of the best game that ever set foot on the PS3. The Last of Us carries over its AAA status onto the next generation too. And that's just with the minimal flourishes of smoother frame rates, enhanced visuals, and all the DLCs combined. On the PS4, a console whose quality never once throttled in its hole, close to concluding generation, The Last of Us Remastered is certainly the definitive experience. Ticket from hardcore gamers Matt Whitaker, who says that the multiplayer is better, the level of immersion is higher, and its emotional impact even more profound. With the hopefully imminent coming of the next chapter and Joel and Ellie's poignant zombie misadventures, this is the perfect opportunity for first-timers to catch up and for veterans to see it through a second time. Or a third. Or a fourth. It has a play score of a 9.4. Fourth place is Persona 5. It's not just Japan anymore. The whole world's waiting to see the Phantom Thieves' next move. Now, in a full list of Western RPGs, Atlas proudly comes forward to represent Japan in this Sony list. Of course, with nothing less than the acid jazz tunes of their eminent Persona series. Persona 5 is the perfect representative too, not only for its moving anime storytelling of quirky characters and memorable relationships, but also for the overall quality that it presents. Masterpiece and perfection gets thrown around and it's hard to blame anyone for going into hyperbolics. Cultured Vulture sums it up pretty well. Aside from story immersion, the details of Persona 5's gameplay also got a huge upgrade from the previous game. For a hardcore gamer, it became the pinnacle of the JRPG genre with move away from randomly generated labyrinths that highlighted stealth, paved the way for stylish combat, and more challenging puzzles. The Phantom Thieves have been out for two years now, but it's been guiltlessly stealing hearts in the world and ours. It has a play score of a 9.45. There's gotta be another way. I need you on this one. We're down to our third game with Uncharted 4 A Thief's End. There is plenty of farewells in this list, and one of those is from Sony's most beloved exclusives. In Uncharted 4 Thief's End, Nathan Drake waves goodbye to his life of adventure with a customary quest for a legendary pirate treasure. As they draw the curtain for their poster boy, Thief's End naturally homes in on the core of the series, packing each exciting scenario with callbacks and nudges that will surely touch the hearts of longtime fans. This is what GameBeat says about the game, adding that Uncharted 4 manages to pay tribute to what came before, while offering a satisfying conclusion to the Drake story. And satisfying as it was, with intensified gunplay, ingenious puzzles, and an exquisitely written story.
Released in 2016, Uncharted 4 has definitely had its time in the top spots of the PS4 list. While it's not there anymore, the legacy of Drake's adventures continues to live on with a play score of a 9.45. Go rob ourselves a bank. Second place for our PS4 AAA game is Red Dead Redemption 2. With the long-awaited sequel to the critically acclaimed Wild West RPG, Rockstar Games does what Rockstar Games does best. It may have taken a long, long while, they definitely showed us that the wait was definitely worth it. With RDR2, we are thrust into a deeply enveloping open world in the western frontier. Sure, it's something we've come to expect from Rockstar, but that doesn't make it any less impressive. In it, we get to meet icons from history or carve our own paths in the vast deserts. Push Square says it's Rockstar at its zenith, setting a new bar for the genre with the game's absurd detail and polish. And most critics and gamers are in agreement. When it comes to crafting a living and breathing place to be, you can't get any better than this. We're invited in its rich story that makes you revisit the old, but we're made to stay with graphical detail that almost makes you forget it's not real-like. It has a play score of a 9.47. And our best PS4 AAA game goes to... Your heart and their suffering. God of War. With this last game, we prove that Sony has always been home to some of the best AAA games from one generation to the next. The PS4 takes us home to a series that has brought us around the halls of myth since 2005. Greek myths are out and we see Kratos, the personification of strength, show us how much he's grown through the years. Mother always said to be open to those who can help. It may not be a flashy open world game, but God of War is all the more memorable for focusing on exhilarating weapons gameplay and molding characters we thought we knew. Giant Bomb observes that Kratos grows out of his old tough guy act as seamlessly fills the role of a quiet father figure to Atreus. It's a beautiful picture, and one we will get to enjoy as we throw our axe to solve dungeon puzzles and battle against towering bosses. Games Raider puts it nicely, the depth and craft of its combat, puzzles, and almost every system it has sparkles and shines with an indulgence and luxury that regularly stop me in my tracks to drink it all in. And if that's not the mark of a AAA game, we don't know what is. Boy, it has a play score of a 9.57.